very good morning students today we are going to discuss about sanitization what are the different methods by which you can sanitize the equipments or your surface area let's get started with that sanitizers in cleaning procedures sanitizing all food contact surfaces must be cleaned first and then sanitized as any kind of dirt interferes with the action of chemical sanitizers sanitizing is achieved by using either chemical sanitizers or hot water right now the effectiveness of any sanitizer depends upon three main things first of all is the concentration higher the concentration of the sanitizer more the disinfecting power right see now i have give you one example if we have a 10x x is the power that is the uh, concentration of the sanitizer and other one is 100x which one according to you is a better disinfector either 10x or 100x obviously 100 is more 100x means the concentration power is more it is having more disinfecting power now other is time of contact this varies from 1 minute to 30 minutes right it depends how much you have to sanitize then the temperature the effectiveness of the disinfectant increases with the rise in temperature right so this is the th these are the three factors the concentration time of contact and temperature then a good sanitizer should have the following properties first of all it should be toxic to microorganisms but not to human beings non corrosive corrosive means it is not enhancing the rust formation then is water soluble it is sol easily soluble in water does not impart odor or taste odor the spelling here is wrong it is o d o u r then it does not react with food the it is not the sanitizer is not reacting with your food and it is effective easy rinsing easily available and reasonably priced so these are the what we called the properties of a good sanitizer then first of all we are going to discuss about halogens first is chlorine and its compounds for this we use hypochlorite available chlorine or chloramine these are the concentrations parts per million right the temperature is used is kept as 24 degree celsius and contact time is 60 seconds right the advantage is they are most widely used as they are inexpensive in proper dilution they kills bacteria spores and bacteriophages leaves little taste or smell the disadvantages comparatively destructive to cloth then is corrosive to certain metals if improperly and repeatedly used they irritates the skin easily inactivated by food particles as food particles increases the ph so when the question comes about halogens you have to write about two sanitizers one is chlorine and other one we are going to discuss is iodine in chlorine these are the three which can be used this is the concentration this is the temperature and this is the contact time next one is iodine and its compounds in this iodophore or available iodine in these concentrations are used this is the temperature and this is the time 60 seconds advantage is it is less irritating to the skin less affected by hardness of water you remember that we have already discussed this the hardness of water is because of calcium and calcium and magnesium ions effective against a wider variety of bacteria disadvantages more costly bad odor see odor odor means smell if used at a temperature above 49 degree celsius it causes off flavor in dairy items so 
this is all about halogens first one is fluorine and its compounds other one is iodine and its compounds